Oh, you guys, this is a big one for me. I've been so excited to crack this thing open. So I just hit 200 subscribers, which is really cool. Thank you guys so much. I don't know. I don't know. I hope this is going to turn out to be good. I'm pretty sure we're guaranteed a Master Ball Hollow and a Secret Air. So we're guaranteed like one big pull. And then anything could be the Master Ball Hollow. Man, I love 151 so much. I got a binder full of my English 151 and I've had this and I've been super, super excited to crack it open. I have not opened any Japanese 151. So, so excited to get into this. All right, let's get all these packs out. I'm just gonna do it this way get the box out of here oh man look at all these packs Japanese 151 man I have never opened this up so I've definitely seen videos so you have a little pull tab here instead of opening it up normally I'm going to try to be careful. That did not open up very easily. So, I'm sure I will get a little more smooth at that as we go on. Oh boy, so they're small, small packs. Look, we've only got like six cards in a pack. I don't, I don't know what the pack trick would be but look at that we got our first ever Japanese 151 card is seal or is that dugong no it's seal right clefairy voltorb and look at that that is beautiful that is a reverse, I think. No, it's... Okay, so we got a hollow... Mo so this is the reverse. I can't tell. I think it's just a regular... It's definitely not a master ball. That is such a cool hollow pattern on it, though. Oh, there we go. I finally caught it in the light. There we go. So it's just a regular Pokeball. That is so cool. The king himself. Okay, so it looks like if you take two from the back, that would leave your hit, I guess, your hollow. I don't know if you're guaranteed a hollow in every pack. I don't think it's the same way the English sets are. Let me see if I can open this up any smoother. Nope, doesn't look like it. Man, what is the... What is the trick to opening these things up? I feel like I watched someone open these a long time ago and then it just made it look real smooth. Look at that beautiful Bulbasaur. That was brutal. That, I totally butchered that. Should I do two from the back to the front? Man, I hope we can pull one of the really crazy special illustration rares I put all my English 151 in a binder and I think I'm going to get another one maybe the pink one and try to fill out a Japanese 151 binder that would be so cool so all the artwork is the same but it's really cool just to have some Japanese cards this is Star Me. Just a regular Pokeball Hollow. Man, they look so cool though. Especially in person. They do look much different than the English Hollows. Maybe I'm just tripping.
but we do get him a champ hollow. Let me try this. That's kind of the way I would normally open a pack. That didn't go very smooth either. Polywag. This will probably be a long video because I'm trying to really take my time and enjoy this. So at the end, of course, I will show off everything we get. What is that? Okay, it's just a regular Pokeball again. Very cool ride on. And a very cool Flareon. That looks so awesome. Such a beautiful card. I forgot to pull two from the back. Erica's Invitation and Executor. We've got a ton of packs left here. Man, I feel like if you open it like that, it just hits the cards. And it's not like you can push them to the side, so what? what's the point of it? I don't really get it. There doesn't seem to be an easy way to open them. I've seen people cut the tops. I mean, I guess I could do that. Pull two to the front. And so far, yeah, we've got a hollow and a reverse hollow in every pack. So I think that's what you'll get. I don't know why I thought maybe it wasn't guaranteed. Psyduck. And... A very nice Ammonite. Very cool. And, and a Golem. Look at that. So we are starting to rack them up now. Ooh, those look good. Very cool. I have almost a complete 151 in English. I'm only missing a few cards. Funny enough, I think one of them is just the Golem EX. I've opened up so many packs. Pretty sure I'm still missing the Golem EX, though. That's funny that I have it in Japanese now. All right. Still experimenting on how to open these bad boys. All right, but that was a good pack, a double banger pack. Still looking for our Master Ball and our Secret Rare. Persian Grimer. Tentacool. Mankey. And look at that. Another Illustration Rare. The Machoke. Moving Machoke. Very cool. And so we got the Reverse Hollow. Stormy, now we have just the regular hollow. Super cool. I don't think I have this card in English either, actually. That's funny. Let me try to make a little bit of room here. Put the reverses here and the hollows right here. Hopefully, we'll start stacking up the hits here. I think that's just kind of the smoothest way to open them. I'm just basically opening them the way I would an English set. Meowth. Tangula. Okay, so, oh, is that? It is. It is. That is our Master Ball, and it's Moltres. That, hey, that's pretty cool. I am not going to be upset about that. One of the legendary birds as our Master Ball. Very cool. Very, very cool. Of course, everyone wants like Pikachu and stuff, but hey, I was happy with whatever I got. Could have been like a Kakuna or something, you know. Very, very cool. Moltres. The legendary bird. Set that to the side and then we got our bee drill. Well, the hunt for the Master Ball is over. Got to it pretty quickly, actually. Not even done with the first half of the stack. 
but we should still be guaranteed a secret rare. Ooh, look at that Kadabra. Rever Man, the reverses are so much cooler in this set. And the Zapdos EX, another double banger. Yeah, it, especially in person, they look awesome. I love the hollow pattern on these things. How the top of the ball is shiny, and then also you can get the whole Pokeball in there. So cool. Reverse there, and then the Zapdos EX. So awesome. Pinsir, Tentacruel. We are suffering from success here. I'm running out of room for all my hits. Scoot all this over. Clear away some of the trash here. Still got two more, three more packs on this one side here. Sorry guys, I will try to move a little bit faster. I know this is gonna be such a long video. I was just so excited to get into these. And I wanted to really take my time and enjoy it. Slowpoke and Gengar. Very cool. I mean, honestly, I figured opening up one of these boxes would pretty much get me a huge chunk of the binder filled out. And yeah, I mean, it looks like we're not getting a whole lot of repeats. Not yet, at least. So we got Gengar and then... The Slowpoke. I'm going to go ahead and throw this Moltres in a sleeve. I'm sure there's somebody watching this going, dude, sleeve it up. Sleeve it up, man. What are you doing? There you go. Sleeve it up. All right, come on. See if I can get these open like I know what I'm doing. Magnemite, Porygon, Electabuzz. Yeah, it's Cocoon. Could you imagine if that was our Master Ball? I mean, I would be cool with it, I guess, but just kind of funny. Obviously, Moltres is a much cooler Pokemon. The Amistar. S S Sorry, I bumped the camera. Snorlax and War Turtle. All right. This would be the last pack on this side. Charmander. Man, can you imagine if we hit the special illustration Charizard? Look at that. Another illustration rare, though. We're definitely racking up the illustration rares. That is so cool. The Poliwhirl. I love that card. Running out of room here. And then the Mr. Mime Hollow. So I'm going to move all the normal cards over here where the packs were coming from. Make a little more room here for our hits. I know that's off camera a little bit. All right, let's keep going. Now we're on to the second half. So we're halfway done. So this will be like a 30-minute video. Try to keep it nice and tight. We got the reverse and the hollow chancy. Very cool. So we'll put our reverses right there. Move all the normal cards over here. The Pidgeotto. They just look so cool. I remember being a kid and someone would have like a Japanese card and I just thought that is crazy. I just thought that was the craziest thing ever, you know, to have a Pokemon card in another language. So I'm happy that as an adult, I can splurge on something like that that I thought was so cool as a child. Very cool. Reverse and then Gyarados. Awesome. And Ivysaur. That's one we needed for sure.
and I wish I had all my cards from when I was a kid. I never had any Japanese cards. I don't think. I may have traded for one or something, but I did have some pretty rare stuff when I was a kid. I used to compete in the Pokemon tournaments at Toys R Us. And I had like some rare, I think it was like a promotional Pikachu for winning the tournaments. I think it was for winning. It might have just been for being in the tournaments. It was so long ago, I don't remember. I definitely won at some points. I can't remember if one of the tournaments I won was the TCG or the the, the video game. Because we would do both. You could bring your game and, and battle people. Your Game Boy. I'm talking red and blue and yellow. I wish I knew what those cards were, but at some point, you know, I just didn't care about them anymore, and I think my parents just got rid of them. Who knows what they did with them? Very cool, Sandshrew, and very, very happy to pull a Charizard EX. This one, we'll put it right there. There's the regular Poliwhirl. Come on. I would love to go to Japan one day and just bring home a huge haul. Me and my wife talk about where we would go if we traveled. And yeah, we would definitely want to go either to Japan, probably number one, or Brazil. Because, of course, I'm a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. I would love to train with guys there and get beat up by all the crazy Brazilians. Of course, my coach is Brazilian. And anytime he ever has someone come from Brazil to train with us, they are no joke. They are some of the toughest people I've ever met. But Japan, just for the culture and just being such a huge nerd... Caterpie. See, if this was our Master Ball, I would be, you know, like slightly bummed out. Happy to have any of them, but I'm very thankful that it was a Moltres, you know, a legendary bird. Look at that Kangaskhan. That is awesome. The hollow pattern is super cool. So is this, yeah, technically this is, you see SR, this is our secret rare in the box. So this may be the best pull we get in the whole box. How do y'all feel about that? Definitely not something that I wanted necessarily. I'd rather have, you know, like the one of the big three special illustration rays or something like that. I don't know if you can still pull something else or if that's kind of like you get one per box and you get what you get but that is a really cool card I mean we're almost done here so we did get a Mewtwo and then very cool Ivysaur and you know what the Mew and the Mewtwo also they aren't promotionals they're actually just in the set so that could have been something that we pulled that would have been great. I would love to pull the Mew or the Mewtwo. There's our Pikachu. Cubone and an Alakazam. Very cool. I'm sorry, Marowak and an Alakazam EX. So we have gotten lots of hits. Lots of hits, which is super exciting. Almost done, y'all. Just a couple more packs here. We're actually only at about 20 minutes. So I started speeding up more as we went. I wonder if I should try to get that mole trace graded. I don't know if it's worth any money or not. Do Duo Jolteon. All right, y'all. Last pack. So we didn't pull any of the like special illustration rare type cards. 
like the Alakazam or the Charizard, Venusaur, Bulbas uh, Blastoise. Magikarp, Venonat. Let's grab these two from the back. Bills transfer. We get the reverse. And our last card is the Electrode. So yeah, we got a lot of cards to go through here. That is our biggest hit. Not one of the best ones, but at least we got a really cool Master Ball. And lots of illustration rares. We got one, two, three. And then a few EXs as well. So, man, that was so fun. Thank you guys all. Please subscribe, and I'll do another big opening at another date. See y'all.